What should I wear for this video? I have my mom's vintage sunglasses, so I'm gonna try them on for you. This one, ooh, what's the vibes? I have some dad shades that was gifted to me last last years. Let's try it on. Ew, no, no, bro. This last one here, and I think this is perfect. If I could just wear it, it would be perfect. Vacation vibes. So we all need a little break, a little vacation, but we can't do it right now unless you have a million followers and could fly to a private jet and go to Bora Bora with your family and friends. Um, Wayne Charlie D'Amelio, so just gonna stick with books, okay? Yo, it's Shio since we couldn't go on a vacation and since I'm broke, why not make the vacation come to us? So here are seven horror or thriller books to read if you want a vacation or maybe these books could scar you for life and not go to a vacation anymore. I'm reading off a script that I made, okay? So don't judge me if I look down. So the first book that we're going to talk about is Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel. So this is a sci-fi mystery novel. In this book, we follow Beatrice and her friends, which are considered the cool kids. But something happened to Beatrice's boyfriend, and she kind of distanced herself from the cool kids group. However, one year after their graduation, she reconnected with them in this big house the rich kid's house and then an accident happened and what y'all know a man walks into the house and says you guys are stuck in time and you must make a decision and then they have this opportunity to know more or to learn more about Beatrice's boyfriend's death so that's the synopsis of the book. So the escapism on this book revolves around having parties in college, drinking a lot, you know, making out, doing drugs. But I hate that I'm saying this right now, but back in the day, I, I really hate myself for saying that. But back in the day, we don't do that stuff. Even in high school, we don't do that stuff. Even even now, um, now that we are really old, not really old, am I that old? Is this like <laughs> a midlife crisis right now? Uh, like even pre-pandemic, um, we don't do that stuff. Maybe, Maybe I, I just was invited to parties because you know I'm a buzzkill. Maybe. Look at where I am now. I make videos on the internet suggesting books if they want a vacation. Anyways, if you've experienced the college parties that is happening on movies, you like this book. Um, but if you're expecting some horror or thriller in this book, you'd be disappointed. It's more about the mystery aspect and the sci-fi aspect these guys were living the same day over and over again like the highs the lows of that happening to them so check this book out next we have dead lake by darcy coates and this is more on maybe slasher maybe horror genre i don't know you'll have to read it for yourself we follow this artist named sam and she's having an art block and what screams inspiration than a cabin situated in a remote lake, right? And what do you know, a man appears in her property. And on top of that, she wakes up with finished painting on her canvas. But she doesn't remember painting at all during the night. I know I kind of trash talked about this book on my tier ranking horror and thriller books i've read but i like the atmosphere that this book creates you know the the simplicity of living in a cabin the simplicity of eating canned soup the simplicity of heating water because you know 
the cabin gets cold in the morning. I like that aspect of it. And I, I also love the escapism of Sam hiking and exploring the woods on her own. And I've never canoed in my life, but I experienced it through this book where the main character, you know, canoes the lake. Pick this up if you want that cabin escapism, the chill morning in the forest, the fogs in the morning, the peaceful lake vibes. Pick this up. So the third book we have is The Last Time I Lied by riley sager and this is a thriller book and i know i know riley sager and i have a beef but i gotta give credit where credit is due what did you say i couldn't hear you i said i like this book so i really like this book so in this book we follow our main character named emma she was younger in a summer camp and she was assigned to this cabin of seniors you know them older girls the popular girls and she idolized these girls a lot and one night she woke up to them leaving the cabin and they were never found again and fast forward she's invited again once the camp reopened after many years of it being closed because of the missing girls and she's invited as a camp counselor and she was assigned on the room that she was living in on that summer camp the girls went missing we question is she crazy is it really true what she was saying that the girls left in the middle of the night um or are the people in the camp responsible we'll never know is there a killer is it a ghost are they in a cult i like the book because of two things number one it's got that pretty liars vibe i hate to admit this but I've read that whole series. I've read most of Sarah Shepard's books and I hate that I'm saying that right now. But yeah, I've enjoyed that when I was young at least. Yeah, it's got that teen girl click, the murder mystery. And the second one is the camp itself. I've never experienced summer camps in my life unless um, we were forced to in grade school as Boy Scouts. A night of comparing sizes of day. Anyways, if you want that summer camp vibes, if you want that peaceful lake escapism, if you want swimming in the lake, because here in the Philippines, all the lakes are kind of dirty. So the next one is He Started It by Samantha Downing. And this book is a thriller. We follow three siblings with their respective partners the youngest sibling is single who needs to follow this road trip they had when they were really young exactly as the places they went to when they were young with their grandpa and they need to follow this road trip in order to inherit their grandfather's million dollar inheritance before you get into this book let me warn you that this book is so over the top, so wacky, but in a good way. I included this here even though it was so wacky. I included this here because if you miss having family road trips, because of course we couldn't do that during this time, this is a great book to read. Um, this book also includes some museums in the United States, so which if you're me, you've never been you like this or if you've been to you'd probably also like this book pick this up if you want to visit or visualize american museums you know and if you miss family road trips that stop at a gas station that family bickering that checking in at motels exploring restaurants pick this up Whew. Getting hotter in here. So next book I would recommend is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This is a thriller, mystery, detective type of book. I normally don't pick up detective books, but this one is special. So let me read the synopsis first. So in this book, we follow this mother who goes into a beach side because her son was dead after a hit and run. So 
We follow this detective's point of view as he solves the child's hit and run case. That's the synopsis of the book. And let me tell you, girl, this has got to be one of the most epic, one of the most clever plot twists I've read. And I've read a ton of thrillers. But this book, I'm. let me just leave it at that because I might say more. It had that twist after twist after twist, which we love a good plot twist after twist after twist. We love a Cirque du Soleil moment. <laughs> I'm so horny. <laughs> but I didn't enjoy this book because of the multiple twists, although that was enjoyable as well. I like this book because of the setting, because of the scenery. So we have beach houses, we have waves, we have the white sand on our feet. We have friendly locals. Imagine you think about escaping your life right now and starting over again, but on a beach house by the beach. Girls, right? So if you want that feeling, if you want that escapism, pick this book up and you'd never be disappointed because it's kind of a slow burn at the start, but it has some good payoff okay so pick this book up now we have a second to the last book which is lie with me by sabine durant and this is a thriller book so we follow this broke guy me broke guy we follow this broke guy and then he meets his acquaintance who seems to be doing all right for himself so and you know what my guy does he finesses this acquaintance of his and the next thing you knew He's invited to their family dinner at their house, which then leads to him being invited on a summer vacation on Greece. All because this guy is good at what he does, which is lie all the time. So yeah, this book goes from there. So we follow this guy as he lies his way around everything, his job, how he's going to go to Greece without enough money for a plane ticket props to this dude for finessing and hustling his way around yeah this book is so atmospheric from the heat of greece to the luxurious vacation house that this family owns the glorious pool that this vacation house has this book is a trip see what i did there a freaking trip i've never been to Greece um but based on the pictures I've seen it's all white I would recommend this to people who have been to Greece or who haven't been to Greece who would wanna you know revisit the place one day someday yeah I've never left Asia I've been to Taiwan but that was when I was still a baby if you want a chill vacation vibes with a pool around you that you can just dip when it gets hot, pick this up. We are now at our last book. You've probably heard it by now. This is The Ruins by Scott Smith. It's a classic at this point. This book follows a group of friends in a Mexican vacation and they meet tourists like them. They get drunk all night, swimming by the pool, scuba diving, lessons in their itinerary it was all fun and games until one of their new friends brother goes missing and their new friend asks for their help what do you do as a good friend and it's your last day in mexico you don't just enjoy the hotel right you don't just rest and chill by the pool by the beach you go on a hike to an off the map ruins to help your newly found friend's brother because you're a good Samaritan. And then what do you expect? Chaos. This book might make you afraid to go hiking again, but this was a perfect escapism for me la last year because I never want to go hiking or trekking again. So this quenched my thirst to hike. This quenched my trekking needs. And yeah, you just enjoy these awful human beings get tortured, basically. Yeah, they kind of get what they 
deserve they kind of deserve it not gonna lie yeah if you're up for some hiking vibes pick this book up the first part of this book was about their mexico vacation their itinerary them on a mexican hotel them on a scuba diving trip and the middle part is them trying to talk to locals which were so disrespectful what can we expect they're white i'm just kidding for my white viewers out there i don't hate you i don't hate you hate isn't what we aspire in this channel we only talk about horror we talk about thrillers here no hate just horror that's our tagline anyways i've gone off the rails pick this book up if you have that need the desire to go hiking to go trekking read this book so yeah these are the seven books i recommend if you want to go on a vacation which we obviously can't so if you've read one of these books please comment below your experience on reading this books and if you have more books that you know i can read for escapism for vacation for a beach because i've been dying to go to the beach in my area um can't go to the beach at least the nice beaches not the trashy ones i don't know how to do outros i guess that's it bye Freaking broke.